disobedient mode. You know how that is. We think what we want to think. We do what we want to do. And we get in trouble with God. Not with one another. Mm -hmm. So God had to allow. Because he chastened them that he loved. And he caused affliction. He caused famines. Uh, when you think you got it made. He closed up doors. Amen. He allowed things to happen, not to hurt you, but to draw you nearer to him. Because America have, have relied on every source but God. Yes. The stuff that we used to do, we are back now because things is all turned upside down. Because we don't have no discipline in worship. Yeah, no, 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 no. Not for your sake or my sake, but for the glory of God. His truth, his word, his, his truth. Quit talking about naming and claiming and how to be prosperous. And God's a loving God. But he also is a jealous God. No matter who you put in front of him. It can be your mama, your daddy, your daughter, your brother, your sister. It can be anything as cars and houses and cash and 401k. Whatever you put ahead of God, he is jealous. Yes, 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 yes. Sometimes it takes a while to find that out because sometimes we think we selfish. Oh, yeah. When you don't have a headache, or when you don't have no disease that you know of, that attack your body in the least time that you think about. When you get a pink slip, or you have a bad report from the doctor, you're going to need a true and a living God. And I ain't talking about just playing house in church. You know, when you're playing house in church, when you go and punch your car and you leave and you go back to living in any kind of way that you want to live. But don't you forget, because he loved you like he do, he called stuff to come up on us that we just can't shake it off. You can't buy it off. No, you can't work it off. what he's going to be. So he, Isaiah the prophet said now they don't fell into troubled times. Mm -hmm. And he put them in a fallen family and they, this is the time they went to Babylon and, and in captivity mm -hmm. before God can hear their cry. And when they get down to the 40th chapter, I said chapter 1 to 39 was a repenting bowl for the people had. And now the people have learned their lesson. And when they learned their lesson, 40th chapter picked up through 66, it talks about the soon coming Christ. And there's a long way from Isaiah 40 mm -hmm. to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John oh, yeah. since Jesus came on the scene. Mm -hmm. Because some of us get weary yeah. when things don't happen when we want to happen. Yeah. You know, when we call on, we want to be a microwave or an air fryer. We want it right then, <laughs> right there. And God telling us Every now and then, you got to trust me at my word. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they said, oh, Jacob, Israel, seem like as though God has hidden himself from us. Oh, yeah. Have you ever felt that way? When you get in a slam dunk of 
issues in your life. And everybody got them. Some of us got them close to the best that we don't want nobody to know. But God knows what you're going through. But he inhabits when you pray honestly to him. And he said, now, uh, you know, you repented of your sins. And I, and, and I have hidden myself. And not only that, but Job, they, Job said, I look for it. You remember Job? Yeah. Job said, I looked to my right. I couldn't find him. I looked to my left. Where is it? I looked to behind him. Where can he be found? I look in front. Where is he? It's God. Oh, yeah. And the saints sometimes, because the heavy load falls upon us, our family members, we want to know where he is God. Well, I come to church, I give you praise, I give you your love, where is you now? And they were saying that, seem as though God has hidden himself. Well, you got to keep on reading. Because God is sovereign. He knows all things. He got all the power. Look what he said. He said, everlasting, he from everlasting God. Yes, the creator of the ends of the earth. Oh, yes. Moses said, said that from generation, from generation, thou art God. Oh, yes. A lot of times we get tangled up on what the creation still the creator. Because uh -huh. we, we go to source. He said, I'm from the end. There's no no searches of his understanding. Sometimes God holds stuff that nobody but God knows. If you don't believe it, look at Deuteronomy 29 and 29. He said some things is not for you to know. It's for God myself that I hold it in my own wise providence. He said I'm sovereign. I know everything. He said, I'm the one that created the stars. And not only that, I know them name by name. And you think he don't know you? <laughs> you ain't got to worry about nobody else knowing who you are. God knows who you are. He ain't hit himself. You just got to learn how to trust them. If you walk by faith and not by sight, we want to see everything before we believe. Yeah. Right. He give power. He'll give you strength. But you know one thing? If you don't never acknowledge that you need him, he won't come. See, that's what, about the new birth. If you are never admit that you need to be saved, he'll never come to your rescue. Amen. Right, See, we've been in church, but not in Christ. Oh, yeah. And we, it, it's a problem when you're in the church and not in Christ. Oh, yeah. Because our foundation of our faith is not built on the preacher. Oh, yeah. It's not built on the deacon. It's not built on the name of the church. Our faith is built on the word of God. And that's all we got. You can go through the motion. You can hold the position. You can come and act like you a Christian. But baby, if you want to go to that other place over yonder where the sun will never go down over yonder when he'll wipe all tears from your eyes. You got to be, you must be born. Let's know. You know one thing about God? He's patient. In the Christian point, we got to learn how to be not the word itself. We have to learn how to be patient with one another. Everybody ain't at the same stage of faith 
as you are. And you got to learn how to take time to realize that I, how did I get here? I learned that last week real good. Yeah, I, I, I had them four grandkids. I had to learn where I come from again. Because I found myself, so Lord, you were cursing me all over again. But I, the word of God came to say, you got to be patient. You're telling the others about how I am. Now you really, you really got to depend on God now. Because what we say can be an exit on your testimony of what you're telling somebody else. It's easy to tell somebody else to have faith in God when you don't have no faith. And I've learned a whole new lesson all over again. Yes, I did. And yes, a freak, and I'm going to get to the word. Maybe when I came back from New Orleans, and I seen Carl all in my yard. And I told her, who are those people in the house? She said, no, your truth. I said, get back in the car and let's go. She said, no, you going in. And when they opened the door, I heard pop off from a line. And I ain't getting to bed at 12.30 this morning. But what I'm trying to say, God will change your thoughts. If you really, I said, I got a job all over again. They're trying to teach and train. But you got to be examples because they're watching you. And like saints are watching you, we got to learn how to be patient with one another. And that's why God here saying that I know you're looking for Jesus the Christ that coming to lead us to a better way. And I can see one audience say, well, what do we do in the meantime? You know what I'm saying? You tell us about saying he ain't came yet. But while we waiting on him to come, as the raptures to come, what shall we do? Read this word. He said, he said, you got to learn how to trust me. And if you trust me and believe on me, then you got to learn how to plan. Yeah, all these design schools again. You got to learn how to plant. A, a woman has a straight, and, and the wind will come and blow all over the place. Well, mm -hmm. But if you learn how to plant, and you take three plates and you plant it together, <laughs> yeah, and when the wind blow, they all in one socket. Uh -huh. So when we learn how to plant, we plant right now. That we can hold it and twine in one another. Yeah. That means we got to come together. Uh, I may not think like you, you may not think like me, but somewhere down the line, we got to come together and twine yeah. 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 one another. Yeah. Yeah. So the foundation, when the enemy comes, the kill, steal, and destroy will be strong. And though that are weak, he said, I give you power. Uh -huh. Won't he give you power? Yes, if you ask God to bless her, won't he bless you? Yes, we got to learn to trust in God. Yes. Not in something, but all the time. And even to use faith. Mm -hmm. But you got to wait on God. Yes. The old folks said, you can't hurry God. No matter how hard. Yes, he will. You just got to give him what? Time. No matter. There you go. He's a God that you can't hurt. Say another part. Hallelujah. He'll be there. So we got to learn how to trust God. And he said, if you trust me, I'll give you strength. He said, sometimes. You might have to run this race. And every now and then, in about over 50, you stop running. Oh, yeah. And you got to walk. Yeah. But he said, I give you strength oh, yeah. in your walk. Yeah. If you just trust me yeah. and you wait on me, sometimes you just got to wait. Isn't that right? Yeah. And as I go to a close, no, he preached a hundred. In 20 years, yeah. looking for rain, uh -huh. but 
you have to wait on God. Yeah. If you wait on Him, yeah. no matter how long it takes, yeah. Sarah laughs at God in her old age. Yeah. Didn't want to wait on the Lord. Yeah. But after she got old in age, here come eyes. Won't God hear your cry? You remember Mary yeah. and Mom. Uh -huh. Jesus yeah. was over young. Oh, yeah. But they had to wait. Uh -huh. And it was a good wait. Uh -huh. He waited to laugh and stay in the grave four days. Uh -huh. He was stinking by now. Yeah. But he had to wait yeah. on God. Oh, yeah. And put the bars in the fiery furnace. Yeah. Then he said, we won't buy down to this king. But God, they say he ain't coming. But he came when they were in the fire of fire. Some of us in trouble now. Oh, yeah. And God come to your rescue. Oh, yeah. I stopped by on my way home that God will give you strength. Oh, yeah. If you only just call on him. Oh, Believe and be sure. Be very sure that your anchor hold and your grips are solid. That rock, that rock is Jesus. Isn't that right? Trust him. Depending on him. It's going to come some time when you ain't going to be in church. Gonna some times you're going to be at your home. In your recline. Yeah. And trouble going to come. Oh, yeah. But you can find him there. Oh, yeah. He's here. Yeah. He's everywhere. Yeah. If you only believe. Oh, yeah. That's the reason why we're here on the first Sunday to take communion. Yeah. You see a lot of people get upset because they hear the wrong report. Oh, yes. This table here. Mm -hmm. Is in remembrance of him. Yes. And if God snatch you from hell and save your soul, yeah. you ain't got to worry about what nobody else said. I, I don't care if people get mad at you, you get mad at if God save your soul, yeah. you got a right mm -hmm. to come in remembrance Boy. and take the Lord's soul. Yeah. Now, what he was reading in the book. If they that don't know him are unbeliever, uh -huh. that don't know the Lord, he eat it and drink a damnation to themselves. Yes. Yes. And that's why you got to believe if God ever snatch you and you are born again, mm -hmm. it don't mean you ain't gonna sin no more. No, 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 no. You better read first John. Uh -huh. God made a way to escape that you can repent because you're still in your flesh. Oh, yes. Don't let folk down you. Oh, yes. Trust in the Lord yes. Yes. in all your ways. The oh, people yes. think they're going to be there, ain't going to be there. Yes. And the one going to be there, you say, I thought you'll never, she'll never get there. It ain't up for you. Oh, no. It's up to God. Yes. Yes. Ain't that right? Yes. We call it now. Mm -hmm. See, when the world is cold, Oh, yeah. And your fears are few. Oh, yes. There's somebody yes, who cares. Love. 